Karab, Karabi. Karabi, Karaba. Chonaranamushi. Chowanmushi? Gehezo! Is that an H or an N? Karaba, Chonamushi. So today, I'm actually uh, getting these kohlrabis, which is a really amazing vegetable, and making it into a chow mushi. Chow mushi is a traditional uh, Japanese egg custard. This version is gonna actually be with that vegetable, it's hollowed out and actually gonna be cooked inside the actual vegetable. So we're using it as a vessel, as well as the flavor. Kohlrabi is actually in the cabbage and broccoli family. I would say it's similar to like the texture of a cauliflower, but a little bit of flavor of a broccoli and a cabbage put together. Uh, it's one of my favorite vegetables. You can grill it, you can roast it, you can just steam it and make it a puree. I love working with these vegetables when I can get my hands on them. So all of this trim that I'm hollowing out is actually gonna be a part of the puree. And I'm gonna quick pickle some to use as a garnish and to add some acidity. I find it very interesting to take a comfort dish and elevate it. You'll get something really refined, but at the same time, you'll get something that is very familiar. Hopefully we can uh, get this dish over to a mini bar. You know, a very simple vegetable, get it to a point where it's just the star of the dish. For me is really what mini bar is all about. This is how we would present it. So we would have it in actual plate, something to hold it, and then that would be it. Next up, we're gonna get a lot of the greens from the kohlrabi and make it into a puree as well, so that way we can finish it on top. Drain and then squeeze out all the excess water. We'll do a rough chop just to make it easier on the blender. During the whole blending process, I added a little bit of salt. This is a very fibrous greens. Even though I blended it up for a good while, it's still pretty chunky. The vibrancy of the color, it's actually not bad. It's pretty good. Next up, I have a kombu water, which is seaweed uh, water but it's essentially a sheet of seaweed that's dehydrated and we just add water to it and cook it very slowly until we get like a desired uh, taste to it. We found that it's a very good neutral base for a lot of sauces and stocks and cooking in general because of its unique flavor. It gives it like a umami and vegetarian too. So we can use it, it's very versatile that we can use it everywhere. This is uh, heavy cream. And then this is the kombu water. That, it actually gives it, I say a little bit more depth in flavor. From here, one of the few things that we need is a couple of eggs. So that's the traditional part of the chow mushi. And lastly, we have iota. So iota is uh, an extraction of a red seaweed. 
So it's a gelifier, so it, it's able to give the base structure, but also a creamy flan-like texture to it. Sprinkle it in there. Just to stir it up so it gets all even. And now we actually have to cook it. We cook it into a certain temperature to activate the iota and also to cook the eggs at the same time to give it a different structure. And it's a very fairly quick process, but that, uh, that's, we have to raise it to that temperature for those things to activate. Okay. Strain it. And that's it for now. And then we'll put it in the fridge to further cool down. In a little bit, we'll be able to clay one up. To finish the dish, I've selected this plate right here. So it's a nice little concave. And then we'll just gently move this around so that way it coats it more evenly. I did a quick pickle with some of the kohlrabi that I carved out to use as a garnish and add acidity. And then finish with a little bit of flowers. Touch of Malden salt. and then olive oil. Essentially, that would be how we would send it out to the guests. So we go here, present it to the guests, kohlrabi. Hopefully it tastes good. Uh, Claudia, do you want to try the dish? So what do we have? Uh, so this is our uh, kohlrabi chawamushi. We have the chawamushi and then the greens from the actual chawamushi blended up into a puree. Fresh kohlrabi pickles and alyssum. This is just for the basis, the foundation, but possibly maybe caviar or uni would, I think uni would be nice, but you know, that's, that's the start of it. Yeah? You want to taste? This is? We can go a little bit warmer. We can go warmer, we can go colder. It just depends on the season and everything and which direction we want to go. What these guys have told me, the temperature is a good one because I would want it a little bit warmer as well. Conceptually, what do you think of the texture is nice? I like the texture of the shoulder. Maybe a little bit less acidity. So that way we can add another component on there. Koji-san? You want to taste the chawamushi? I prefer warm, like a liter. Yeah? Flavor works. Yeah. Probably this one branch a little bit longer. We can, we can, yeah. we can blanch a little yes. bit longer for texture. Yeah. And then what do you think? Maybe caviar, maybe uni. For a first 1.0 version, I think I'm off to a really great start. Maybe? With this much acidity from the pickles. Mm -hmm. Then we gotta be less pickles and then add more caviar as well. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So from there, it can only get better. <laughs>